Hey everyone, my name is Lucas Kwiatkowski. I'm a full-time Amazon PPC manager. And I wanted to go into a really specific topic for this video, negative keywords. When I come into account, it's amazing sometimes if you're not diligent about adding negative keywords, how quickly that they can increase your ACOS and really increase your ad spend and they're they're really just the root of all evil if you're not looking at your reports to you know to get these keywords under control so negative keywords just to just to give a brief overview of it they are keywords they're so they're the exact opposite of normal keywords if you bid on a keyword so i'm going to do the example bar stools if you bid on a keyword you're telling amazon you want to show up for that keyword so you want to be placed on people searching for bar stools. If you place bar stools as a negative keyword in your campaign, you're telling Amazon you don't want to show up for that keyword. So you can see that in a lot of campaigns, it's very, very easy for a lot of costly keywords to, to creep into your campaigns without you realizing it. So I want to go through some examples just to show you how, I mean, there's really only a few options for this. And once you open the, the reports, it's relatively easy to see. So what I've done here is I've downloaded a, just a normal search term report. This is exactly how it looks like when you download it, uh, except that, you know, I'm pointing out some examples here. And this is a client who is selling bar stools. All right. So you can see here, this is a campaign, this is an automatic campaign, and these are all of the different ad groups. There are different colors for the bar stools. So you can see in each of the ad groups that in the, um, and just going back, I sorted this by clicks. I always like to sort by clicks because that gives you the search terms here. That gives you the search terms that are getting the most search volume and are going to give you the most data. So search by so I sorted by clicks and you can see here that for each of these ad groups, the two search terms that are popping up the most are farmhouse decor and bar stools or bar stool. Now, obviously if we go here, we can look at ACOS. So ACOS for farmhouse decor on this search term is 170%. For bar stools, ACOS is 10%. Uh, this farmhouse decor has $70 in spend with no sales. This bar stool has 450 in sales and 13% ACUS. So you can kind of see when you come into a report like this, how obvious it is, what search terms are relevant and what's not. Now, I don't know why, but for each of these ad groups here, for each of these bar stools, they're showing up a lot on farmhouse decor. Now, sure, you've, they've gotten maybe a couple sales from this, but it's really not relevant. And if you dive deeper into the report, you'll see that these are costing us way more money than they're making us. So I've highlighted all of these here, all of these yellow ones. And again, this is the same search term popping up in different ad groups. So it's showing up for different ads within a single campaign, which brings me to the first example, which is a negative keyword at a campaign level. So if you add, a negative keyword into a campaign, it's going to add that as a negative keyword for all ad groups. So this is more powerful if you have something like this, where you have a lot of variations and they're all set up in the same campaign and you want to add a negative keyword to all of them. All you do is you, you open the campaign and then you add in the keyword, the negative keyword at the campaign level. And that'll knock out so I would definitely do that for farmhouse decor. I would add farmhouse decor as a campaign level negative exact keyword. And it would take it away from all of these ad groups. So we would no longer bid on them and it would immediately reduce the ACOS. Now, the other example is keywords at the ad group level. That would be if you want to add a negative keyword to one of those ad groups, but keep it running for the rest of the ad groups. So that's when you would click directly into an ad group 
and add a negative keyword. So one good example of this is this is this ad group is a gray bar stool, and for some reason it's gotten 16 clicks on the search term white bar stools. So 16 clicks is is a good amount of clicks, showing me that it's probably not going to convert at this point. And again, it's a different color. So that's where I would add white bar stools as a negative keyword in only that ad group. I wouldn't want to add that to the campaign level because that's going to that's going to knock out the white bar stools from all ad groups and we actually sell white bar stools so we don't want to do that. So it's kind of a good rule of thumb is if you have different color variations or different size variations and you know that they might overlap, you can preemptively add in those colors as negative keywords so that your eventually your ads aren't going to overlap. So those are the two the two places that you can put negative keywords campaign level and ad group level again campaign level is going to add it for all of your ad groups and this is the same for automatic and manual and then there's two different types of negative keywords there's negative exact and negative phrase so negative exact it adds that exact keyword and all of its plurals as a negative keyword so if we go back here, actually either of these would be a good example. So this is white bar stools, uh, but let's look at this one, industrial bar stools. Now, industrial bar stools, uh, it's got 13 clicks and it's got a sale. Now, say I added industrial bar stools as a negative exact keyword. It would also add in industrial bar stool. So that's a really, really minor thing that has caused some problems in the past because there can be some time where there's weird there's weird keyword things that are going on that maybe you're getting a lot of sales for industrial bar stool singular so again I, and I wouldn't add this as a negative exact I just wanted to give that example that you need to that if you're adding it and it's it's a high volume keyword look at the singular and the plural to see if one of those is maybe doing more than the other. So that's the negative exact. Um, and the negative exact is, is what you're going to use most of the time because you're just going to want, want to knock out these singular keywords and just be very targeted. But the, the, the more powerful tool is a negative phrase. What this does is this adds any phrase involving that keyword and its plurals as a negative keyword. Again, it's the same plurals, uh, the plurals come into effect. Now, going back to this example, we have farmhouse decor up here. We have, I see there's another farmhouse decor with no sales. And then we have farmhouse wall decor. These are bar stools, they're not wall decor. They're clearly, they're not converting for farmhouse decor. So they're probably not gonna convert for farmhouse wall decor. So. This is where, and you see this more and more, farmhouse kitchen decor. So I'm seeing the search term farmhouse a lot in this report. If there's a search term like this that is really overpowering and you know it's not relevant, it's costing you a lot of money, you're 100% sure you want to remove it, that's when you go to negative phrase. So I would add in farmhouse as negative phrase. And that will cut out all future search terms of farmhouse coming into this campaign. So it's really more of a, a layer of protection, the negative phrase. I think one of the, my favorite examples is if you're selling supplements, a lot of, say, a joint supplement, a lot of supplements now, they're supplements for humans and they're supplements for pets. If you're selling a human supplement and you know that there is a pet supplement equivalent, before you start your campaign, you can add in the dog, cat, pet, negative keywords into your campaign. So it provides that sort of layer of protection because you know they're not made for pets. People who have pets might click on them, but they're not going to buy them. So that's why it's really important to, to do your own keyword research and go in there and know what your products are, but also know what they aren't. So if you're doing your keyword research and you see a lot of non-relevant keywords, that's when, when creating your campaigns, 
you actually add in these negatives before and you can you can save yourself a lot of trouble in the future and then again this was i look i was looking at an automatic campaign but a lot of people forget that negative keywords creep into manual campaigns too especially broad and phrase match they are absolute killers if you're doing very very broad keywords so you need to look at those as well it's usually a pretty good rule of thumb that if there's say if farmhouse decor is in your automatic campaign and for some reason you're bidding on it in a manual campaign it's it's not going to be converting there as well so it's just something to look at look at all of your campaigns when you're looking at your negative keywords and that's really the basics it's it's those four things there's two places you can add these keywords and there's two different types of them always make sure that you're positive you want to add it as a negative keyword before moving forward because it will knock out that keyword and it will knock out its plurals but it's a very powerful tool and it's definitely something you should stay on top of